Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is download Eclipse. I'm using Galileo, but you'll want to use the latest version. So, I'm just going to start up Eclipse here. And you can choose your workspace, it doesn't matter at all. Okay, this is completely vanilla Eclipse, and what we're going to need to do from here is go to Help, Install New Software click the add button you're going to want to type in Scala for the name and you're going to want to use the link that's going to be in the in the uh, description uh, and I already have that in my sites so I can't add it again but you get the idea then you're going to want it will automatically select it for you but if it doesn't then just select the drop down box and install both the Scala IDE for Eclipse and JDT Weaving. Now these should work pretty flawlessly unless you have some sort of crazy kooky um, Eclipse setup which is possible. It's happened to me. And it's going to download it and install it and you're going to get a security warning message that it's, the software hasn't been validated and it's unsigned and just click OK there. Okay, and it's going to ask you to restart Eclipse. Then what you're going to want to do is just to test to see if scale is working. This isn't going to be a tutorial on how to actually program in scale, it's just going to test it out. Uh, go to New, uh, select Scala Project from the Scala Wizards folder, and we're just going to name it Test, and use the default location and working sets. And you may get a message that it's associated with the Scala perspective, and pretty much what that means is that uh, Eclipse can lay out itself differently depending on the programming language you're using and it's pretty much the same for Scala and Java um, so it doesn't really matter what you choose here I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes then, we're, then you will create a new uh, Scala project in your package explorer and you're going to want to right click on the source folder new and Scala object and you can name this whatever you want I'm just gonna keep it simple uh, maybe I've already created this. Uh, yeah, I probably have already have. Okay. Well, there it is. Okay. So you'll get code. You'll get the basis of an object, and an object is pretty much just a singleton class, and more on that later. But this this tutorial is just a test, um, and. Uh, We'll just create a new main. And don't worry about what this means right now. We're just testing. And we're going to have it print Hello World. So save that and then press the Run button. And if all goes well, you'll see a Hello World message. And if uh, it doesn't, then check the description and I have troubleshooting guides. And that's all for this one, and tune in for the next one. Thanks. Bye.